please subscribe Sporta TV for more information, MotoGP and Formula 1 2023. Monster Energy Yamaha Racer, Franco Morbidelli finally has sealed his switch to Pramac Ducati where he will line up alongside Jorge Martin for the 2024 MotoGP campaign. The factory Yamaha rider lost his seat when Alex Rins was signed from LCR Honda a few races ago. Since it was announced he would leave Yamaha, with whom he spent the last five seasons with, a switch to Pramac soon became the talk of the paddock. That was especially true when Marco Bezzecchi decided to reject Pramac in order to stay with the Muni VR46 Ducati outfit. Speaking about the addition of Franco Morbidelli to Pramac, Ducati general manager Luigi Daligna said, It is a pleasure for us to welcome Franco Morbidelli to our factory-supported Pramac racing team for the upcoming sports season, writing an official Desmosetis IGP. Franco is a writer of great talent and experience, and on more than one occasion, he has demonstrated his strength and speed. It's no coincidence that in 2020, he was the MotoGP Vice World Champion, winning three Grand Prix races. We are confident that, together with the Pramac Racing Team and thanks to our support, he will be able to show his full potential. We look forward to embarking on this new exciting adventure together. Morbidelli's switch to Pramac means they, along with the factory Lenovo and Muni VR46 teams have confirmed their rider lineup for next season. The only team not to do so is Grazzini, with Marc Marquez continuing to be linked with a move away from Honda. In terms of his team, Pramac team principal Paolo Campanotti is confident of seeing Morbidelli back where he deserves to be. I am very happy that Franco is joining our family for 2024. I have an excellent relationship with him, and he has proven to be a champion on many occasions. I am confident that in our team, he will find the right conditions to fight for the positions he deserves. Gino Borsoi Prima Pramac Racing Team Manager said. It is an honor to have the opportunity to work with a champion like Franco. I have great confidence in him and his talent. I am sure he will feel very comfortable in our team, and together, we will achieve great results. On the other hand, another place on the 2024 MotoGP grid has been confirmed with Takaki Nakagami remaining at LCR Honda. A double Moto2 race winner, the Japanese stepped up to the Premier class with LCR in 2018 and has remained with Lucio Seconello's team ever since. Nakagami's best season to date was 2020, when he claimed a career-best fourth on two occasions plus pole position at Aragon on his way to tenth in the standings. The 31-year-old's fortunes since have mirrored the general decline of the RC213V, slipping to 15th in 2021 and 18th last year, when he was nonetheless evenly matched with Alex Marquez who has taken a Grand Prix podium and sprint win after switching to Grazzini Ducati this season. Without the Lucio Seconello announced, I'm proud to count on Nakagami for another year. He's a fast rider who can get good results, and alongside HRC, we believe it's time to keep pushing, as he's one of the most experienced guys with this bike. We will give our best to fight for the positions we aim for. I feel LCR is part of my family, and of course, I'm excited to be with them for another season, Nakagami said. I want to thank them and HRC for the opportunity, as I know we are a good match. Now it's time to work even harder to be ready for the future. Nakagami will have his third different teammate in three seasons with Johan Zarco replacing Alex Rins next year. The LCR announcement means that only the Grazzini Ducati seat occupied by Fabio Di Antonio remains officially open for 2024, although KTM still needs to find a place for Pedro Acosta. On the other hand, the managing director of Yamaha Motor Racing, Lynn Jarvis has expressed concerns about Yamaha's current position in MotoGP, particularly regarding the aerodynamics of their motorcycles. He believes that the Japanese manufacturer has been slow to prioritize this aspect, which is crucial for the performance of the bikes on the track. You know, MotoGP really in a recent interview, Jarvis stated, aerodynamics is an essential factor in MotoGP and it's evident that we've been lagging in this area. While other teams have made significant advancements, we've been slow to adapt and innovate. This is a matter of urgency for us. 
He further elaborated on the importance of aerodynamics in the sport, in MotoGP, even the slightest aerodynamic advantage can make a significant difference in terms of lap times and race performance. We've seen our competitors make leaps in this area, and it's time for us to step up. Lynn Jarvis also acknowledged the challenges faced by the Yamaha team in recent times. We've had our share of ups and downs, and while we've celebrated successes, there have been moments of introspection. Our goal is to be at the forefront of MotoGP, and to achieve that, we need to address all aspects of our bike's performance, including aerodynamics. He concluded by emphasizing the urgency of the situation, we are fully aware of the challenges ahead, and we are committed to making the necessary changes. The situation is urgent, and we are working diligently to ensure that we are competitive in all areas. The Yamaha team has been a dominant force in MotoGP for many years, with multiple championships to their name. However, the ever-evolving nature of the sport means that teams must continuously innovate and adapt to stay ahead. With Jarvis's recent statements, it's clear that Yamaha recognizes the areas they need to improve upon and are committed to regaining their top spot in the championship. On the other hand, Aliex Espargaro, Indian GP safety issues show how united MotoGP riders are. Aprilia's Aliex Espargaro believes MotoGP riders are much more united in their views than before amid safety concerns over the venue of this weekend's Indian Grand Prix. India is scheduled to host its first-ever MotoGP round this weekend at the Booth International Circuit which was built to host the Formula One race between 2011 and 2013, when it was dropped from the calendar. Concerns about track safety have been brought up in recent months, as the venue required an upgrade to extend the runoff areas and to carry out a partial resurfacing. The most concerning parts of the circuit are walls which are placed just 3 meters from the asphalt itself, with the Turn 3 barriers one of the biggest safety issues despite it being one of the slowest corners of the track. In recent weeks, Espargaro had expressed concerns about the level of safety at the circuit, which was yet to be homologated by FIM as of last week. Espargaro says riders are facing the weekend more united than before following a number of meetings to discuss, among other topics, setting a minimum base salary for MotoGP riders. And the Aprilia rider suggested they are all on the same page on safety concerns ahead of the Indian GP. In India, all the riders together are going to walk the track before we get on the bike to understand the situation, he said. Motorsport.com understands that the riders are determined to bring up a vote amongst themselves on any issues relating to their safety. Aliex Espargaro admits he has been surprised by the level of agreement among riders. Now there is a very important thing between us, which is togetherness, Espargaro said, I don't know why, but now that we sit down and talk, we think much more alike than we imagined. Before, you would go to the safety committee and there was a lot more confusion, because there were a lot of opinions pointing in different directions. Now it turns out that we agree on most issues. That's very positive. This way we can improve a lot of things.